John, you need to remember, you're going to tell people about this guy who had this, um, this thought about talking to yourself. Uh, you need to keep drinking water because you get a dry throat. You need to speak clearly and not, um, and not too quickly. Uh, and you need to sort of finish uh, with something positive and, and maybe a prayer. Yes, and uh, bear in mind it's now 10 to 5 and you need to get home in time for, to cook, well, to, to help cook tea. Uh, that would be, that's good. And uh, yeah, it's already quite dark. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Welcome to Monday Musing. Well, I hope you find this video encouraging. I hope it lifts you from where you are. I really do so. Um, my name is John and uh, we're thinking today about talking to ourselves. Now, you probably heard me at the beginning talking to myself and you might think that's a bit strange and you probably thought, is the guy, has he not edited this video properly? What's going on? Why is he just waffling on to himself? And you'd be right to ask those questions because people that talk to themselves out loud, perhaps you might be thinking, that's a bit strange. Why are they doing this? I didn't think I did it actually. I didn't think I talked to myself out loud until last week and I was listening to a video clip and just before uh, I was editing it into, um, into the, right, the right length, I could hear myself reminding myself, like I did at the beginning of the video there, of some of the, uh, some of the elements of the video that needed not to be forgotten. So clearly I do talk to myself, whatever you think of that. I wonder, do you talk to yourself? Do you talk, maybe not audibly so we could hear you, but you're thinking and reminding of yourself of various things. Well, David Martin Lloyd-Jones said it's because people are listening to themselves instead of talking to themselves that they are usually unhappy. That's quite a claim, isn't it? Because people are listening to themselves and not talking to themselves, it can make them unhappy. You know when you wake up in the morning and you just don't feel on good form? You feel a bit flat or a bit indifferent about the day. You're just not looking forward to some of the things you've got to do. Even though you probably going to have a good, good activity to do, good sense of good balance, good, good things to look forward to. On another day, you could look forward to all those things and be in a great mood. For, for whatever reason, you're just not getting it. That day just does not feel very positive. And you start to doubt some things. You start to remember some of the things that happened the day before and feel quite... Quite negative and quite even unhappy. Now you may not ever feel that or actually you might have those feelings quite often but what David Martin Lloyd-Jones, great name isn't it, what he says is because we don't talk to ourselves we don't remind ourselves of the truths and promises that God says about us and because we're not doing that enough then we can start to go back to a default setting of, hmm, I wasn't very good at that, that didn't go very well, hmm, I don't think I'll be able to do it, I don't think I'll make a good impression, I think that video will just have me waffling, I'll keep stumbling over my words and you get the idea. Very quickly we can turn to a default setting of negative, flat, hmm, I'm not good enough, hmm, I won't sound clear, I won't be clear, I won't, yeah, all those sort of things, we can start to feel and act quite negatively about ourselves, even though that's not the truth. The truth is very different to our feelings often, isn't it? Well, how do we talk to ourselves to encourage ourselves? How do we do it? Well, one way is to read God's Word. God's Word always lifts us, encourages us, challenges us at times, yes, but it always lifts us from where we are. So, Psalm 42, verse 11, is exactly what the psalmist was doing here, the, the person who wrote this psalm. This is what it says, Psalm 42, 11. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. It's a New Living Translation, I'll read it again. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. What a turnaround. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I'll put my hope in God. So, if you're feeling sad or discouraged or indifferent about something or just not feeling very happy at the moment, and we all feel that at times, I do as well, 
I'm not always bouncing off the ceiling like most of you think I am. I'm not. There are times when I feel quite sad and discouraged. Often I go quite quiet, which for some might, might be a blessing to be in my presence when I'm quiet. But it generally means I've got things on my mind, things that are concerning me. And I'm not feeling, not sad, but I'm not certainly not feeling joyful because I'm starting to worry or think about certain things. And if that's you at times, which, let's be honest, we all feel at times, we all act at times, we all sense that sadness or that despair or that discouragement, we all need to challenge ourselves to put our hope in God. So let me pray for you now that you would choose now, just today where you are, to put your hope in God. Put your hope in God for lockdown. Put your hope in God for your family, for your health, for your friends, for this year and for all that we hope it will be, for this world and all its problems. Let's put our hope in God. Let me pray for you now. Lord God, we choose right now to put our hope in you. Lord Jesus, at times we feel discouraged and despondent. We feel despair and even sadness. Things get on top of us. Things wind us up. Things can get us down. But Lord, we choose right now to put our hope in you, our promises that you have given us, our truths that you have given us. Lord, we trust you. We put our whole self into your hands and we like, like nothing else, Lord Jesus, you are our living hope. Lord, help us today to choose your hope above all things. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Amen. See you next week.